Hey folks, welcome to another X-Wing video. I'm going to try and do one take and done here because it's stupidly late. I think it's 8.30pm as I'm starting recording. I'm still wearing my like gym clothes. I've had a crazy day, but this I've been pushing this video back further and further. And I just want to get it done. So we're going to try and blast through this recording. Hopefully keep it to about 15 minutes or less, maybe. Probably not because I'm still waffling on about it being short instead of actually starting. But you know, <laughs> that's how it goes. So sorry, I look like a bag of crap. I'm probably really flustered, but we're just going to go and see how it turns out. So, searching for value in scum and villainy. We have the Y-Wings. This has been really difficult because there's so many of them to go through, but like the generics, they, they all get different slots, so they do serve different purposes, but... I don't think we want to look at the generics realistically. Um, Patrick with 10s, okay. Um, for a 4. The rest of them being 5s, I think they just stack up too much. Um, the Deera Swarm is probably still alive at 5 points. Um, a little bit ex on the expensive side, but I feel like there's probably enough value in other places, but you're also relying on non-limited ships, so she is probably dead um, in the way that it, the powerhouse it used to be anyway. Um, and then, obviously, Cavill only having 18. It's enough for protons, but like you're really, really looking at turrets. So from here, it doesn't look like you've got any really massive ordnance carrier. For the Y wing, so let's skip on the YT thirteen hundred. Um, Han is pretty good value at twenty four to to me anyway. I think there's a bunch of stuff you can do here. Uh, you've got all of the options you'd want and the points to spend it on. Lando's a little bit tighter, but you know I think it's fine. Then we go to the escape craft. Autopilot drone at two. If you're if you're desperate to run like a, a two ship list, just take one of them, make one of them a Falcon, put the autopilot drone on there. Um, but obviously, it's going to explode. Probably not what you want. I think uh, these all being the same price with the same loadout is it's pretty fair to be honest. Um, I would look at the Outer Rim Pioneer uh, is pretty strong because it lets you perform attacks on obstacles now, which you can't normally do. Uh, obviously it got a buff because you can, can't can attack on any obstacles, so this is which would attack on all of them. Uh, Orlando uh, is a higher initiative, his ability is still strong, and then L3 um, is fine, you know, you're not going to make it cheaper, but I think you're actually going to see a variety of the escape craft now. Fang Fighters, um, Fenro having access to Afterburners seems like a winner. I mean, that's where I would start off with a, a Scum Fenro build. Um, you also can take something like Elusive and, um, where's it gone? Fearless. Yeah, so that's kind of, I'd waste that point quite happily for this build. Um, maybe there's something better you can do for a three point upgrade, crack shot maybe, clan training. Um would I I don't think I would take clan training on him to be honest. Um not with this or yeah, I think this is better. This is what I would do. And I don't know why I'm like messing around talking about it. This is a Fenro I would probably build. Um Old Terok having a larger loadout value means you can do um, better things with torpedoes and silver points for upgrades. So old T is probably good value. Zealous recruits um, five and ten feels uh, feels interesting. Like you can just chunk them out, have um, shields and holes. So that feels pretty damn good. A six hit point um, Fang Fighter. So I think for a generic, that's pretty good value. Um, skulls at five and ten as well, but they get a torpedo. Um, so if you wanted to do like advanced protons, 
that's probably where you would go. Um, I don't know what you'd do. Yeah. yeah. I think the Zealous Recruits probably where I, I find the, uh, the value for the actual War Initiative. You can't do three of them in Fenro anymore because that's not how the game works. But you could do like Joy Wreck Off or something. Pretty good fun though. Um, sorry, yawning already. I'm like two minutes into a video. Jesus. Um, Bounty Hunter is far too many points because it's a generic. Boba Fett, 10. Half your list. I mean, he's always going to be half your list if you're building him properly. Um, I think I think that's still good value. You've got a, chunk, a bunch of world out. He gets his crew swap back, so you can do... Um, where's it gone Where, where's my crew here it is so you can do uh, any of the um any of the force users uh, i actually really like savage opress but i mean that's a different video um looking at like, upgrades too much but yeah bubba fat just is just good again it's fine i'm not going to talk about the gauntlet because i've not had it on the table yet i've not really seen um, all of the cards. I've not looked too much at the spoilers, so I don't want to like commit to something without having played it. The Hawks, obviously, a bunch of them losing access to a title, only Pelob from the, uh, the Scum Faction, and Pelob having a twelve Lord out of 12 is real good. Um, the other one's been, like, some of the cheaper ones still seem okay, uh, but Pelob with Moldy Crow. I feel like this is good value here. Um, and Torkill at four seems really cheap. Uh, only 10 points of load out, but it's still enough to get you where you want to be. Then, Jump Masters, we have Nom One finally going up in costs, and then Manaru being the cheap one. Um, so and I personally am a little bit sad that they've moved Nam Wam up to five. I don't think it's undeserved, don't get me wrong, but I also liked my, um, him being a cheap one. But it is what it is. I feel like Manaru at four feels like pretty good value, though. Um, yeah, like there's, there's definitely stuff you can do here. There has to be. Do you let me take Perceptive? Yeah, perceptive. I've got a point left. I feel like there's stuff you can do here. Um, oh, can I? Do I get the illicit? I do. Yeah, so you could do overtuned and then um, you just take this and pass all of the calculates to somebody else. <laughs> Seems like it would work. You're never going to be worrying about this because you pass your green token, so it's fine. Um, that seems pretty good fun. Um, and she's the cheapest, so I think there's value there. M3As, um, they're all pretty cheap. The swats are where it's at, though. So, Layton's really annoying. Um, decent loadout value. Genesis Red. Um, yeah, Genesis Red is pretty... Pretty cool, and you have the points to do proton torpedoes here. Uh, proton tops. Um, you've got all of the points. Jesus. Uh, afterburners, and then I've still got two points for an upgrade here. Um, maybe elusive. Yeah, whatever. Keep them alive to fire off more protons. But yeah, I think there's a lot of scope for that to be pretty good fun. Um, like getting a reload uh, on Quinn just seems pretty fun as well. Obviously, you can't do um, a normal proton torpedoes in your hard point. You can do advanced protons. And then you could do, um, what was the three, like fearless and advanced protons. And you can reload it so they have to deal with you. Seems nice. Oh, then the mining guilds, these are pretty pretty terrible like, Avia uh, is the 2.1 so and uh, it's not a bad ability like, 
um, large bases have a place in the meta now uh, because they score more for the objectives. So um, I think there's definitely value here, um, and it's your two-point pilot for filler. Um, I actually do like that. Um, none of the others really stand out to me. Um, Seavor is still just annoying, but it's four points, and I feel I, I personally want a little bit more from my four point ships. Um, Lats at six is good. Uh, Bosk for seven with a bunch of ward out. Like you, you can still make you know, a good party bus for Bosk. And then the Z95s. Um, you got Bosk again. Is I mean, if you're gonna take Bosk, I mean, is that is that harsh? What can we do here? Can is there a way to like crit him up? Like marksmanship, eh, only eight points. No, I think Nadru is good. I don't think he's as good as Blount. Uh, because the range restriction actually hurts him a little bit more because you want to be contesting those objectives, which is going to kind of drag him closer to where the fight is. You want him on the outskirts of it, whereas in with um, with Boynt having a, like, a similar kind of ability, I think Boynt's easier to keep in the fight and where he needs to be. But an awesome flanker here. I'm, I'm pleased with Nadru as a flanker. Um... So yeah, let's see what slots I miss, because there's bound to have been some of them. And um, we've got a couple minutes left, so missile on Seabor. That's not too bad actually. Why you defend before attack? Okay, yeah. So um being able to jam with a missile is probably good. Um so what are we gonna take? Um I'm targeting computer and then I've still got seven points left. I mean, I don't think you ever get to roll a dice if you take home in missile um, clusters. When you defend on... Oh, okay, so you only get to do it once, even if you take clusters. Um, but you could do con conk missiles and concussions. And... Uh, what did you do? What, what would I do for a one point? I mean, marksmanship's fine. You can't to double flip it with concussions, maybe. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's that's a decent four point pilot actually with the um, with a missile. Then you shown his missile as well, but not as much world out. Um, yeah, that's all fine. Um, did we? Did I miss anything funky here? Um, it looks fine. There, yeah, all of these. What's changing here? Okay, double cannon swats are there. Okay, that makes sense. Um, double cannon letting you take synced cannon is probably good. Um, there's a couple, well, there is a bunch of ways of getting calculate tokens to turn your synced cannon on as well, and you can afford them. So, yeah, maybe, maybe this is good. I think Zealous Recruits are definitely, definitely viable for a generic. I I do really like that. Just, it seems stupendously easy. When I do best score on top, I don't think I would. I think Shield Upgrade and Hull Upgrade. If I feel bad not using them because that's obviously why they've given it to me to do that. But I think Shield might just be more reliable. I don't know. Because how does best goal work? And when you defend, if you attack it in your front, yeah. Yeah, so there's like ways you have to trigger that. And you still take the damage face down unless you spend two. So if you want to not spend two charges, which is effectively the same as a shield upgrade, um, you still have to be in the front arc. Yeah, I just, you take shield upgrade, it's better. Uh, on this ship anyway um yeah i think having a six hole uh, a six hit point fang fighter is probably fine you know i can i can vibe with that um what else do we want uh 
yeah, I think that's it. I think um, the those are the main ones. Nothing else changes here. Um, so I think Outer and Pioneer and some of the mining guilds to be able to land might be decent. Um, so that's three. How many? What can I get here? Six. Nah, if I duplicate that, come on. So Seavor and do I want you shun? I don't I really don't. Um that would give me eleven points. Oh, it's gonna be a nineteen point waste, isn't it? Um no, maybe not. I could probably do um I kind of do want that fire spray, where were we? Yeah, classics. I've got three points left. Um, I can't do a fang. Hmm. Would I do? I could do bosk after all of that. Oh no, I think we've got those. Yeah, we could do. Yeah, no, we're going, yeah, sorry, I feel like I'm not talking here, I'm just like jibber-jabbering on. Uh, we would do, oh, can't do that. Sirahawk, uh, yeah, could do a spy, okay, there we go. One of the hawks, can I, I can do spy swimmer. Well, that's interesting. We're not going to, yeah, we're not going to pursue that in this list. But yeah, I think there we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five ships. One of them is going to be awarded Fire Spray. I feel like that's pretty cool. I mean, you could go with this just being a mining guild as well. And we have two, though. And we have two mining guild ties. Um, yeah, I don't know. But there you go. Right, that's the kind of thing we can look at. We go up to there. Yeah. That seems fine. If you don't want to take uh, classics, you can do a couple of mining guilds um, with missiles, Bubba Fett, and the Nightroom Pioneer. So you can just land on all of the obstacles and just still fire. Seems fine. Um, but yeah, I think uh, there's a a little bit there's nothing that stands out as much as they did in um in rebels and imperials for me i, I do really like the um the fang fighters so i think there's some value there so let me know what i'm just missing like i'm obviously tired so i've like wigged out and just missed something completely so let me know what it is what ships you think i should be looking at what pilot combinations i've got a crazy amount of load out or just that extra slot that i missed going through there pretty quickly uh, leave us a comment and let's have a back and forth about it and i'll see you all on the next one and thanks for watching